Another foot birthday review, another pack pool, Mario Hermoso. Nah, I'm just kidding, guys. The luck stopped at Ivan Perisic and Juan Chan. I did buy this car for 280k. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel and to a brand new FIFA 21 video. This is Leo here bringing you another special player review. And today, we're going to be looking at Mario Hermoso Canseco, one of the probably the most OP center backs right now in fifa 21 just looking at those stats they look fantastic and once i saw him i was like i have to try him out i did review rule breakers jimenez and i have reviewed a lot of center backs this year and i could not leave mario hermoso out guys because look at the car look at the skill moves look at the weak foot and the height as well really good for me and like i said guys we're going to be testing him out and seeing if he is the best center back not name Rafael Varan, the nightmare that is Varan. And if you want to change that up, this might be the answer for you. He is six foot, high medium, left footed, five star skill moves, four star, three star weak foot. Sorry about that. Honestly, in my opinion, I would prefer five star weak foot, three star skill moves, just just because of the passing and just getting it out of trouble. But EA went with the skill move route. So if you like to have that, you want to have some fun, definitely you can do some elasticos with Mario Hermoso, like I said. He is fresh. I did buy him for 280,000 coins, and I think that is a steal, guys. I think I think I sniped him. He's currently going for around 295, so I'm probably gonna play two games and sell him real quick so I don't lose any coins. Or maybe I'll keep him if he is a beast, because look at those stats, guys. All I see is green, green, and more green. Let's start at the 84 pace, 82 acceleration, 86 sprint speed, really good stuff. I'm definitely gonna be applying an engine chemistry style, or not an engine chemistry style, what am I talking about? A shadow chemistry style to try to max out the pace and defending on this card. Let's go on to the 80 passing, 72 vision, 86 short passing, and 84 long passing. As long as he can get it out of trouble, definitely uh, will be okay with me from the passing department. On to the dribbling of 78, 82 agility, 88 reactions, and 83 composure are the top three that I look at whenever I'm reviewing at the center back position. The agility, he should feel incredible side to side movement. So hopefully he feels uh, better than Baran. I know Baran has terrible agility and balance, but he feels like he has 99 agility, 99 balance for some reason this year. So hopefully he does feel fast and he lives up to that 82 agility onto the defending of 87. 88 interceptions, 86 defensive awareness, 89 standing tackle. Guys, this is the Spanish wall. And we're going to hopefully be playing some good opponents that can attack us. And we can test out the fortitude of Mario Hermoso. And lastly, the physical of 86, guys. 94 jumping, 86 strength, 88 aggression. Close out this incredible Spanish center back. Move over Sergio Ramos because Mario Hermoso is here to stay. And lastly, the player trades dives into tackles. Guys, I'm so excited to try out Mario Hermoso. Is he worth it? Is he not? Is he worth the 300k that I did pay for him? We will find out next. All right, come on, Hermoso. There we go, beautiful, man. Right there, that's the AI. I don't even have to press circle right there. And he got the ball back, and he's making that run. Look at him. Ay, ay, ay. Vamos. I accidentally pressed that, but beautiful, man. That is that pace right there. I accidentally pressed circle on that tackle, and he was able to recover wonderfully, guys. Look at Hermoso. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he's offside. But look at Hermoso recovering right there. I don't know what Mendy's doing right there up top, but whatever, guys. Oh my goodness, what a game-saving standing tackle right there from Hermoso. The Spanish wall, guys. The Spanish wall. Dale. I know what you want to do. You saw that auto switch right there by accident? Vamos. Get out of here, Hermoso. Oh my goodness. That's a standing tackle. That's a, that's a standing ovation, guys. All right, guys. We're playing Maradona and Cruyff, guys. Two of the top five players to ever play the game. And already, as I'm talking, Hermoso knew. 
and he made a wonderful standing tackle on Johan Cruyff, guys. Yes, you heard it right. Here we are facing a tough, tough opponent. Vamos, hermoso. I read that perfectly, man. I read that perfectly too. Intercept the ball from Maradona. Beautiful, man. I pull out the goalkeeper to scare him right there. And Hermoso just got his body in the way. That's good. That's a good defensive awareness. Vamos. Oh, my goodness, guys. He is putting Johan Cruyff in his pocket. And it's no exaggeration, guys. He's playing fantastic. Hermoso's side-to-side -side movement is one of the best side-to-side -side movements I have played. Reviewed this year. He feels so fast, man. You see that pocket right there on Hermoso? That's Johan Cruyff, guys. Wow, what a fantastic defender EA have released today, man. Ah, yeah, yeah. What a way to end the what a way to end the review for Hermoso on a beautiful interception. You saw everything he did against Maradona and Cruyff. Man, I have to say that Mario Hermoso impressed me so much more than his stats show, guys. He is an elite level center back, and you saw it in the two games that I did play with him. Just search in his pocket, and you're gonna find Cruyff because that's how good this center back card is so let's go straight into the pros guys number one is obviously going to be that 84 pace of his he it feels so fast on the pitch especially with the shadow chemistry style i think the sprint speed of 86 really helps him out when uh he's trying to you know stay on toe with the fast strikers that are out in this year and also just catching up man he does not make a mistake i remember i pressed circle by accident made a wrong standing tackle at the wrong time but he was so fast that he was able to recover and still get his body in the way of a shot so I love seeing that in my center backs, correcting my dumb errors. On to the next pro is going to be that 82 agility. Just like I predicted, his side-to-side -side movement was going to be fantastic. And it definitely was, man. Incredible side-to-side -side movement. One of the best side-to-side -side defenders I have tried out this year, guys. And I have tried out a lot of defenders. On to the next pro is going to be that 88 reactions. He reacts to interceptions. Sometimes you don't even have to press circle. As long as he's in the vicinity of the striker, he will get you that ball back. And you love to see that that on the center back onto the next pro is going to be that 87 defending i really liked his interceptions and i really liked his defensive awareness but i'm just lumping it all together and i'm just putting a big pro on that defending and then the last pro is going to be that 86 strength guys i really like that strength of his feels about 90 95 because of that high aggression that he does have on the card so gg on that and now on to the cons guys the only con i can think of on this card is going to be that high medium work rates i really prefer uh high defensive work rate center backs and he made a crazy run in the beginning i remember and that might leave you vulnerable if you do not know how to you know control the pace of the game and let him get back so just be aware of that and now on to the leo tips guys dump baran get mario hermoso have some fun this year that'll be my number one tip today and another one actually that i just thought of he definitely is better than rule breakers jimenez i know a lot of people are going to ask me that Yes, guys, Mario Hermoso is better than Rule Breakers Jimenez. Now on to the meta rating. Meta rating on this card is going to be a 9 out of 10, guys. He has the agility, he has the height, the pace, the defending, the physical, and even the passing to be a super meta center back. And a lot of people are going to scoop this card up. I already know it. And he is going to be a monster on the pitch. And then the final rating will be a 9.5 out of 10, guys. One of my favorite center backs I have tried out up to today. And I definitely do recommend him if you have a La Liga Santander side. It has a lot of good links with the All Black and a bunch of other cards you can try out. And Mario Hermoso is up there, guys. But anyways, I will conclude today's review. Hopefully, helped you out in deciding whether you want to get this card or not. I think for 280, it is a steal. I lost a couple of coins because he did drop a little bit. But I don't care because I had such 
a, a good time defending with Mario Hermoso. I feel secure back there, and that is what I want in a center back. But anyways, that will conclude today's review, guys. Please take a second out of your day, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and please, guys, hit that subscribe button. I can't stress that enough. Another uh, foot birthday. Probably Thiago review coming up very soon, so you definitely will enjoy that. This is Leo. I bid you goodbye, and good night.